Hey, Boba addicts! Welcome back to Daily Boba Gossip, where we bring you a sip of news and rumors in K-pop. I'm your virtual gossip boy, Ben. Today, we will be taking a closer look at seven K-pop idols who have had to give up their careers after making headlines for their bad behavior. Stay with us to watch till the end of the video and subscribe if you want to support us. As you know, the Korean entertainment industry is highly competitive and the pressure to maintain a flawless image can be overwhelming. K-pop idols are often expected to present themselves as perfect being for their fans, which often means adhering to strict rules and regulations set by their companies. With constant scrutiny and pressure, some idols have taken to drugs or alcohol to cope with the stress, making these the two leading ways that idols break the law. Drug use is highly illegal in Korea, and the penalties for drug-related offenses are some of the most severe. Not only does drug use often lead to prison time, but it is also highly stigmatized and villainized in Korean society, meaning a drug scandal usually results in a destroyed reputation and career for the idol, with companies instantly terminating their contracts and suspending their activities. Driving under the influence is another issue that plagues the K-pop industry. With the legal blood alcohol content limit for driving in Korea being 0.05%, which is lower than many other countries, and the average alcohol intake by Koreans scoring incredibly high, DUI scandals are unusually common in K-pop compared to entertainment industries abroad. In Korea, the consequences for DUI offenses can include fines, license suspension, and even imprisonment. However, despite this, Several idols have been caught driving after drinking, putting themselves, their careers and reputations, and the other drivers on the road at risk. Although the vast majority of idols work to maintain a clean image and abide by the law, the few who succumb to temptation can face serious consequences. With the combination of high-pressure expectations, intense scrutiny, and the allure of drugs and alcohol creating a dangerous mix for K-pop idols, here are seven of the K-pop idols who have been arrested for committing a crime under Korean law. 1. Drugs Sai While Sai is known for being a pop sensation who shot to international fame with his hit song Gangnam Style in 2012, what most people probably don't know is that before his meteoric rise to stardom, Sai actually faced a drug scandal that threatened to completely derail his career. In late 2001, he was arrested for drug use and possession of marijuana, sentenced to 25 days in jail, and later fined in January 2002. Despite the scandal, Sai was one of the only idols on this list who was able to continue to pursue their passion for music going on to release several albums before achieving worldwide success with Gangnam Style. In 2012, he spoke out about his regret over the drug scandal, saying that he would regret the incident for the rest of his life. The experience had a profound impact on him, revealing that the jail sentence kept him from attending his beloved grandfather's funeral. 2. Drugs, Yuchun, TVXQ. In 2020, the K-pop industry was once again hit with a shocking drug case when popular TVXQ member and JYJ trio member Yu Chun was arrested on drug charges. On April 23, 2019, Yu Chun's world turned upside down when he tested positive for philopon, a highly addictive drug commonly known as Japanese methamphetamine, during a police drug test. Detained by the police narcotics unit, Yu Chun was arrested on April 26 and the charges brought against Yu Chun were grave. Three counts of purchasing 1.5 grams of Philippon, a highly restricted drug, and five counts of injecting the same. His case garnered widespread attention, and many K-pop fans were left disappointed by the news, especially since Yu Chun was known as one of the most respected second-generation idols with an impressive discography. Ultimately, after a tumultuous trial, Yu Chun was finally sentenced in July 2019 to two years on probation and a fine of 1.4 million won, around USD 1,150. 3. Violence and DUI, Kangen, Super Junior The next idol on our list is another second-generation legend, who has a history of getting into trouble with the law. Kangin, a former member of Super Junior, was first arrested in September 2009, when he was involved in a fight outside of a bar. Although those charges were later dropped after it was proven that Kangin had acted in self-defense, 
This would prove far from the end of Kangin's legal troubles. Only a month later, in October 2009, Kangin was arrested once again, this time for a hit-and-run accident. According to reports, the K-pop idol had been driving under the influence of alcohol when he collided with a park taxi and then left the scene. Kangin eventually turned himself in for arrest five hours later, going on a temporary hiatus. Kangin's troubles continued in May 2016, when he was involved in another drunk driving incident, this time crashing his car into a street light pole in front of a convenience store and fleeing the scene. However, he was soon apprehended by the police and his blood alcohol level was measured to be above the legal limit for driving under the influence in South Korea. Kangin is no longer a member of Super Junior and is now seen as one of the most problematic second generation idols. 4. DUI Hyesung Shinwa The most recent DUI scandal involved one of the most recognizable first K-pop idols, Hai Sung from Shinwa, who was arrested for drunk driving and sleeping in an allegedly stolen vehicle. The incident occurred only a few months ago on October 11, 2022. Apparently, the K-pop star was found sleeping in a car by the police who suspected him of drunk driving. When Hee Sung refused to take a breathalyzer test, he was arrested and the situation was made even more complicated when it was revealed that the car in question was not actually stolen. According to Hee Sung, he was given the keys to the car by a valet. But due to his intoxicated state, he was unable to recognize that it was a different vehicle. While this may have been an honest mistake, the K-pop idol's decision to drive while under the influence of alcohol is still a serious offense and could have resulted in tragedy, as drunk driving is not only illegal but extremely dangerous. 5-6 DUI Hyo Chun, Victon and Young Min, AB69 Two younger idols who have had to quit being idols after DUI cases have included Victon's Hyo Chun and AB69 Young Min. Hyo Chan a former member of the boy group Victon was arrested on September 20, 2022 for driving under the influence. After the police tested his blood alcohol level, which was above the legal limit, the idol had his license revoked and, after initially apologizing for the situation, left the group in October to prevent further damage to their reputation. Similarly, AB 699th member Young Min was caught drunk driving on May 31, 2020 on his way back to the dorm. Only a year after his debut, the police suspended his license and in response, Young Min halted all activities to reflect on his actions, later announcing his decision to leave the group to avoid any negative impact on their future. Since the incident, AB69 has been performing as a four-member group. 7. Everything. Shungri. Finally, we have the most notorious criminal to ever come from K-pop, and I am, of course, talking about Seungri, the former member of the popular K-pop group Big Bang and successful soloist. Widely considered the most hated celebrity in Korea, Seungri destroyed his reputation due to his involvement in a series of scandals that rocked the Korean entertainment industry. In March 2019, what would come to be known as the Burning Sun scandal came to light, revealing a web of corruption, drugs, sexual assault and police collusion that centered around the nightclub that was co-owned by Seungri. The scandal exposed a slew of criminal activities, including the use of date rape drugs, prostitution services for VIP clients, bribery of police officers, and the illegal use of hidden cameras in VIP rooms. Seungri was accused of being involved in these activities, as well as procuring prostitutes for wealthy investors, including foreign businessmen. The scandal also implicated other high-profile celebrities who were convicted of sexual assault and distributing illegal footage of women. During the several high-profile trials that followed, Seungri was indicted on multiple charges, including arranging sexual services for business clients, embezzlement, and violating the Act on the Aggravated Punishment, etc., of specific economic crimes, also known as the Bribery Act. And although he has, by now, been released from prison, Seungri's involvement in the Burning Sun scandal has not only tarnished his reputation, but also that of the entire K-pop industry, 
leading to increased scrutiny and regulation of the entertainment business in Korea. Well, we've made it to the end of our list. From drug use to drunk driving, I hope this video has shed some light on the issue of substance-related crimes in the K-pop industry and the importance of holding idols accountable for their actions. I also think it's important to remember that the actions of a few do not represent the entire industry and that 99.9% .9 of K-pop idols are hardworking and law-abiding citizens who do not deserve to be clubbed together with those on this list. As fans, it's our responsibility to support our favorite idols, but also to hold them accountable when they make mistakes, act irresponsibly, or break the law. Ultimately, nobody is above the law, not even idols. So let's continue to enjoy the music and performances of our favorite K-pop idols while also promoting a safe and ethical industry for everyone involved. All right, that's it for today's Boba Sip. Do you believe that any of these talented idols could return to K-pop? Comment down below what you think about it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to us, your daily Boba Gossip.